Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Stoger STR9S Combat. And as you can probably imagine, this gun takes quite a few nods from a few other popular guns on the market, but don't be so quick to judge. This is a really cool piece of hardware. I'm going to shoot it a little bit for you and we'll explain some more as we go. Let's have some fun. 20 round magazines, really nice stuff. A slick two-tone finish. Look at that thing. It just looks great. Let's see how it shoots. All right, here we go. All right. Woo. All right. Let me compose myself. Those are some of those Firebird targets. So uh, a few of those went off pretty good. I got some solid hits on some. I don't think they went off, but <laughs> I had to throw you off for a little loop there in the intro. I'm, I'm sure some of you noticed that. Maybe some of you didn't though. So maybe that caught some of you off guard. Really cool stuff. And uh, this gun shoots a heck of a lot better than I expected it to right out of the box. The trigger's nice. It breaks very similar to a Glock trigger. I would say it's a little heavier than a standard Glock trigger, but it does break nice and clean and it stages up beautifully. And uh, in case you haven't figured out, this particular gun is very similar to a Glock, but there are a lot of ways that it departs from a standard Glock as well. You do have the forward and rear cocking serrations, which is nice. I love this awesome two-tone black and gray uh, hammer tone finish, which is really cool. You got some nice high-vis uh, sights. These are day sights. They don't have tritium in them, but this gun does come standard with these sights, and they are fully adjustable for windage and elevation on the rear sight. It has a full-length metal guide rod, which is something you're not gonna get on a standard uh, Glock series pistol. This gun does have a threaded barrel that's half by 28. We're wearing a Huxworks Rad 9 suppressor. That's a flow-through nine millimeter suppressor. This gun does have a magwell, a flared magwell extension that's added on there to help get those mag changes in and out. You can see the 20s only poke out of the bottom a little bit, right? Really cool stuff. It's a very similar disassembly and reassembly to a Glock series of pistols, but it's not really fair to call this gun just a Glock clone. It's not a clone of a Glock. It just takes a lot of nods from the Glock. It's striker fired. The disassembly is very similar. Uh, I would say this gun suppresses better than most Glocks. And look, I'm not biased here. I own a lot of Glocks. I love Glocks. Um, but generally, they've never really been the best platform for suppressing. And in our experience, they don't suppress quite as well. But this gun suppresses well. It's soft shooting. It's accurate. And uh, I think this pistol is really delivering the goods. And for the money, uh, it comes with a nice hard shell case. And you get a holster. You get interchangeable back straps. This one currently has the medium size back strap installed, but you got a large and a small, so the gun can fit a wide variety of different hands, which is nice. The magazine release can be switched out to either side, so uh, it can be left hand or right hand uh, on the mag release, okay? There is no manual safety. This gun will fire without the magazine in the gun, just like any other Glock might, okay? Uh, but it uses a very similar type of safety mechanism to the internal safeties that are on the Glock series of pistols. Uh, this gun is wearing a Crimson Trace Rad Pro uh, red dot. This gun comes with a variety of different mounting plates and hardware to mount all of your favorite red dot uh, pistol sights, no matter what type it might be. It's compatible with just about everything out there. It was very quick and easy to drop that Crimson Trace on there and we're good to go. And I, and I thought the Crimson Trace would be a good fit for this particular gun. Um, just because this gun is very affordable. Um, I mean, it's priced in line with what most pistols of this quality are going to be priced at. So it's not like it's some, like, you know, basement bargain or anything random like that. Like, it, it's a great gun for a fair amount of money. And the reason that we wanted to really show this gun off was because not a lot of people know that Stoger makes this gun. A lot of people don't even know that Stoger makes handguns. So we wanted to kind of shed some light on this pistol and let you know that it exists and show it off a little bit. All right, we're gonna shoot a little bit more. This time, we're gonna run some subs. We've got some Remington subsonic ammunition. 
This has a published velocity of 945 feet per second. Let's see how this works in the Huxworks suppressor here. And I'm thinking too that this particular suppressor works well on a wide variety of different handguns, I've noticed. And I like the short configuration. It reminds me of the uh, Silencer Co. Omega 9K, but a flow through, which is nice. And uh, I swear, it just, uh, it just sounds good, okay? Let's have some fun here, do a little more shooting. All right, how about some in the dirt back there first? All right, these are subs. It shoots right where it's looking. Heck yeah, bet we can hit that gong back there. <laughs> Quiet. Those uh, subs, they, they have a little bit of oomph to them there, uh, but they are quiet. They are moving slow. I did have one, one time the slide didn't want to quite go all the way in the battery with those subs, but I'm thinking, you know, subs are a little slower, so that's probably the culprit there. Spear Lawman. All right, this is some 115 grain TMJ, so these rounds are moving a lot faster. They're not going to be as quiet, but I think they're going to definitely give us a little more oomph here. All right, let's give it a try. Sure, that suppressor ain't moving, okay? <laughs> yes, sir, Bob. That's a that's one way to get rid of 20 rounds real quick. I do like the magazines a lot, you know, being a metal uh, body mag. These are Italian-made magazines. I would imagine probably Metgar's. Um, they look to be of a, of a very similar quality to Metgar's. You know, they make a lot of mags OEM for people as well. Okay. All right, we got some more Bellom. This is 124 grain Bellom ammunition. This is ball ammo, full power NATO spec military ball ammunition. Shoot a couple more mags and then we're going to reset the range and we'll take out a few of our sodas here in a moment as well. I know y'all probably wonder when I'm going to shoot those, but we'll get them. All right. Man, man, son, this gun shoots so good. I'm very, very impressed at the accuracy of this pistol. The trigger's good for a gun in this price range. I love the look of it. The two-tone look is impressing me with the aesthetic of that. I like it. Beautiful. <laughs> all right we're gonna load these mags back up reset the range we'll shoot a few more rounds for you let this thing cool off too it's getting kind of hot uh stoger is primarily known as a shotgun company they make a lot of shotguns it's an old name it's been around quite some time so it's cool to see them getting into the handgun world a bit we are going to try to hit a few more of the uh of the firebirds because those are so cool why not right i've got a few more mags of bell on here couple of things that I neglected to mention. Obviously, you do have a full-size rail system, so all your flashlights and lasers and accessories and whatnot, uh, everything like that. Also, there is a loaded chamber indicator on this particular gun, um, which is really nice. And it's a real basic one. Basically, you just have like a little slot uh, that's cut into the hood of the, of the top of the barrel, and you can see the brass in the chamber to know that the chamber is uh, loaded. Okay, so pretty cool stuff. I like it. Uh, the trigger's a bit heavy, but it breaks nice and clean. Really sweet gun. I am so happy with this pistol, and I hope uh, if y'all end up getting one, I hope you like it too. All right, here we go. Oh, I hit it and it didn't blow up. Look, I'm hitting them. Oh, that got a little pop on it.
All right, we'll take out a few sodas, as I promised. I don't have any hollow point ammo. This is just ball, but we'll definitely hit them. <laughs> it's accurate if I can do my part <laughs> if the gun's missing it ain't because of the gun it's definitely me but gosh I'm very impressed I mean I had a few flyers that hit just right off the edge of the plate, but gosh, I mean, shooting like a four inch group at 50 yards for just me blasting offhand, pretty solid accuracy if you ask me for a gun like this. <laughs> Ooh, one thing of note, those pins, right? You notice that the pins are in a very similar location as they are on any other Glock or whatever. Well, those jokers are hot. After all these rounds, I can feel that heat transferring through, but you're gonna get that no matter what. I think this pistol is very finely put together and finely produced for the money that they're asking for them. Just wanted y'all to know they exist. That's the Stoger STR9S combat model. Half by 28 threaded barrel, two-tone finish. Pretty cool option. Check them out. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's video. And a big thanks to Stoger for sending this out so that we could let you guys know these things exist. Have a good one. Many more videos on the way. We'll see you soon.